now that you are open to hearing the truth, God is prepared to reveal a person in your relationships. Listen carefully over the next 11 to 12 minutes, because the truth is about to pour in and rock your world. If you don't, you'll never know what's really going on. Please like this video if you have a genuine love for God and believe in His purposes for your life. At this very moment, everyone here can subscribe to this channel. Absolutely, you are the intended recipient of this letter. This individual's true character will soon become apparent to you. This testimony will include you and many others as God's children. God had to make a daring choice that you couldn't fathom at the time, but now you know the whole story and can see how everything fits together. Here is God's message for His devoted people all over the world. So listen up, child of God. In His words, I am the Lord, and I am telling my children not to be afraid. Rather, you shall stand firm in my name, and I will empower you to resist those who would tempt you to do evil. O oh, Supreme Being, I am going to reveal someone who is significant in many people's lives, not just in your own personal interactions. Indeed, I am referring to the man who currently serves as the head of state in your country. I am going to reveal this person in a way that will open your eyes and the eyes of those who support them, my children. Standing by him will be a mistake they grow to regret, since the facts I tell will break the illusions they've bought into with this deceit. The darkness that surrounds this leader will be exposed for everyone to see when it is ripped to shreds. Every country will now be able to see every covert goal, secret transaction, and betrayal that these people have been involved in. They will no longer conceal their intentions and actions. I will keep revealing additional details about their intentions, some of which I have already revealed to you. I am laying the groundwork for these disclosures to come to pass before the appointed time. If you don't prepare, some of you may fall short. In the midst of my adversary's devastation, you may doubt my existence, but fear not. I have given you the strength to endure. I am restoring health to your land and illuminating my will for your life. My chosen vessel will vanquish the giants who have prevented this country from realizing its destiny under my sovereignty. The giants, who were previously victorious, are now terrified as their plans crumble under the weight of my strength. The forces opposing you are growing increasingly nervous as their schemes unravel, yet some of you have managed to overcome them. I doubted my abilities to repair and restore this place, leading to a loss of faith in myself. Take this to heart. I am the one who can restore your health. But you must put your confidence in me first and foremost so that you won't be tricked into thinking a morel can save you when, in fact, no one can. Freedom comes after the night, just as it did in Moses' day. I will separate my children from the looming darkness and their foes, who will erect obstacles to break your spirit and turn you against me. My enemies will intensify their efforts, endeavors, yet I will not withhold my majesty or my rescue for you and this country. You can trust that I am loyal, and I will guide you to victory every time. I will be by your side the whole way through, no matter how scary the path ahead seems. Your enemies will toss things at you. Could you possibly hear what I'm saying? They want to take action against your countries. Can you grasp this? I am not trying to instill dread in you by telling you this. This is a warning that I am sending you to get your souls ready to stand, to believe, and to trust in my authority via the power of my name. I am revealing your adversaries and their actions. So prepare your hearts, my darling, for it contains more than just your foes. As I expose their covert efforts, I'm also exposing their plots. Rely on my word because I always follow through on my commitments. What you're about to feel is the trembling anticipation of triumph. You should be jubilant because I am leading your country to a successful conclusion. Raise your voices in triumph because I am with you, guiding you out of the shadows and into the light. Rely on God's unfaltering love and the Lord's loving Heavenly Father promises that you and He will restore righteousness together. Please tell everyone you know that you have heard these life-changing messages. Give them your undivided attention and type out your faith. God is excellent at exposing corrupted leaders 
who have strayed from God's plan for an extended period of time. Tragically, many people have unwaveringly supported evildoers who have skillfully assumed the identity of the one and only solution to society's issues is to address them. In spite of this, I'd like to bring to your attention a passage from the Bible that addresses these difficult times. Isaiah 5.20 said, Beware of those who confuse darkness with light, or bitter with sweet, or who call evil good and good bad. This word serves as a beacon, alerting us to the perils of deceit that lurk in the shadows when genuine righteousness fades. Knowing that God's light exposes the shadows compels us to maintain our steadfastness. With confidence that God will expose all injustice and concealed wrongdoing, we must not give up hope, but instead keep praying earnestly for the triumph of righteousness and the punishment of corrupt authorities during these trying times. Let us seek the Lord for direction and fortitude. As we face the challenges of this complicated world, let us seek His wisdom. Take note of Proverbs 29, 2, which states that when justice grows, the people are jubilant, but when wickedness reigns, grow. Maintaining holiness in leadership positions has a significant influence on society, as this scripture emphasizes. In the name of righteousness and fairness, let us commit to standing together in prayer and in the halls of our nation's capital. If you are a child of God, you should not sit on your hands, but rather work to root out corruption and promote honesty and morality. In light of your agreement with these divine instructions and your conviction that your country is about to experience the righteous retribution that will reveal all wicked and unjust leaders, you should not. Drop the subject line from this message. Saying this prayer with all your might right now will bring you the benefits you've been seeking, as well as keep you far from wicked individuals and closer to God. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly approach you today, asking for your wisdom and grace to face the challenges we face. We give you thanks because you are a fair and just God who sees all and understands the truth, even when it's hidden. We pray to you, Lord, because we know that some of our nations and town's leaders have turned their backs on you and brought corruption and immorality into the world. We ask that you reveal their transgressions and make their actions public knowledge. Send strength to the truth seekers and shield them from musical danger as they fight for justice. Dear Father, we beg you to have compassion on the people who have fallen for the deceitful schemes of wicked leaders. We pray for their enlightenment and the humility to reject such schemes. The evil adore their inherent goodness, guide them to choose the correct path between evil and good, and empower them to do the right thing even when it's hard. Please hear our prayers as we lift up our country and communities from the crushing weight of injustice and corruption. Infuse your people with a burning desire to do what is right and send your Holy Spirit to guide us. Inspire us to be fearless messengers of your truth. May we bring your light into the shadows and expose the deeds of the wicked. We acknowledge you, Father, as, as we rely on you, God of redemption and restoration, to establish justice and righteousness in her country. You renew our hope and strengthen our faith. We believe in your promise to make all things new. You have promised that your intentions would come to pass. So help us to keep praying and taking action. Additionally, we offer our prayers for the victims of the corruption and injustice that have befallen them. Just by being there for them, you can ease their pain and help them recover from their injuries. Return stolen property to its rightful owners and expedite relieved of their pain. Our peace, which is greater than any human comprehension, will be with them as they follow Christ. Finally, Lord, we offer our prayers to those who are tirelessly striving to eradicate evil and re-establish justice in our world. In the face of the difficulties they will face, may your might and wisdom empower them. In Jesus' great name, send them forth into the world as messengers of your peace and your agents of justice, bringing about change and rebirth. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to you.